Hi, welcome to today's sew along. Today we're going to be sewing our ladies raglan t-shirt. As you will see, it's an incredibly easy sewing pattern and it is great for beginners. To sew it, all the supplies you need are about a meter or a yard of stretch knit fabric. And since you're using a stretch knit fabric, make sure you have the correct sewing needles for your machine, a stretch sewing needle, and that your machine is set to a stretch stitch function. If you're not too sure, please do refer to your, your machine guide book. It will show you which, function, which stitches are made for stretch stitch, stitch. Which stitches are made for stretch stitching. <laughs> You really want to use stretch stitch for this pattern because it's, it's really always heartbreaking when you do put so much work into a garment only to have all the stitches pop and come undone as soon as you put it on to make sure you are using a stretch stitch. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the sewing pattern for our raglan t-shirt. As you can see, it's made up of only three sections. You've got the front, you're going to cut one, on the fold of the fabric. You've got the back, you're going to cut two of the fabric and then you've got the sleeve, you're going to cut two of the fabric. And as you can see this is an incredibly easy sewing pattern. First we're going to start by joining the sleeves to the front and back bodice section. So right sides of fabric facing upwards. Place your bodice front section in front of you. Have it. These long vertical lines are going to be where you're going to be attaching the sleeves. So on the side with the notch, these notches indicate where you're going to be attaching the sleeves to the front of your t-shirt. So where you've made those notches, you're going to match up with the notch on the main fabric section. As you can see, I've decided to make this a two-tone t-shirt, making the sleeves a slightly, well not slightly, it's making the sleeves a different color. I'm just going to attach the sleeves to the front. You're going to be sewing them with a standard seam allowance and you're going to overlock or serge the seam to finish it off. Once you have pressed it of course, always press first before you overlock and serge. Just gives the seam a little more neat finish. Great, then once you've done that, once you've attached the sleeves to your front bodice section, you're now going to attach your back bodice sections to your sleeves. So again, make sure right sides of fabric are facing, then attach your back bodice section to those opposite vertical lengths of the sleeves. Again, sewing with the standard seam allowance and serging or overlocking to finish it off. This is one of those sewing patterns where it's quite important that you use a stretch stitch because this is designed for knit fabrics. You're going to be using stretch knit fabrics. As you can hear my puppy's having a dream in the background. Now once you have attached the sleeves to the main bodice sections, you're going to sew closed that center back seam. So make sure right sides are fabric facing, 
match up your back seam, your two back bodice sections. And you're going to sew that closed with a standard seam allowance. Again, serge your overlocked seam just to finish it off once you have pressed it. And there you can see your t-shirt is starting to come together. The next step is sewing the side and the sleeve seams closed. So you're going to pin the t-shirt together, line up the bottom hemline, line up the sleeve seams at the shoulders, the shoulder seams, and line up the end t-shirt here. You can pin it all together. Okay, so once you've pinned it all together, you're going to sew up from the hemline. All the way up to your sleeve seam. When you reach the seam, you're going to lift the foot on your sewing machine, pivot your fabric on the needle, put the foot down again, and then sew from the seam to the end of your sleeve. Once you've done that, you're going to press and overlock or serge the seam to finish it off. As you can see, I've already sewn the side finished. The next thing to do once you have finished the seam and you've pressed and overlocked or searched it. Is you're now going to finish off your sleeve cuffs. You're going to be doing that by hemming it. So you're going to fold it over by 5 millimeters, press it flat using a bit of starch or hull to keep it nice and flat and then you're going to stitch that into place. Remember for a t-shirt that you're going to be using is knit, a stretch knit. So make sure you're using that stretch stitch, especially in your hemming processes. Once you press and stitch it, fold it over a second time, press it again and stitch it again. Then you're going to do the same for the neckline. Go to your neckline, as so you can see I've already done the first one. Fold it over, press it, stitch it into place. 5 millimeters or 1 8 of an inch. Fold it over again, 5 millimeters, 1 8 of an inch. Press and stitch that into place. And then last but not least, once you've done all of that, you're going to then hem the bottom of your t-shirt and you're going to be using the exact same process. Press it, fold it over by 5 millimeters or 8 of an inch. Press it flat and then stitch it into place. Fold it over again. This time you can fold it over by as much as 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter. Press that flat and stitch it into place. And once you've done all of that, your t shirt will be ready. And then it's as easy as that. Your t shirt is now complete and ready to wear. Enjoy and Remember to share your creations with us on Instagram at Bula Hearts and happy sewing!